the ROG Ally X versus the Steam Deck OLED. In this video, I wanna take you through everything the Ally X can do that the Steam Deck cannot, so if you're trying to purchase one of these devices, you can get a better sense of what you may or may not be missing out on. So let's get right into it. The first and probably the most obvious feature that the ROG Ally X has over the Steam Deck OLED is that it comes with Windows 11 installed natively. Now, if you're an expert or just pretty familiar with both of these devices, then you probably already know that yes, you can install Windows 11 on the Steam Deck OLED as well, but I didn't want to cover that because I wanted to focus on what features that these devices come with right out of the box. Having Windows 11 natively on the Ally X means that it can theoretically play a ton more games because it doesn't need a compatibility layer like the Steam Deck OLED does. And also, using other gaming services like Xbox Game Pass, Ubisoft Connect, or EA Play is a lot easier on the Ally X because you don't need to do any modifying or tweaking on this device. Another benefit of having Windows is that for apps outside of gaming like Microsoft Suite or the Adobe Suite, you can run those a lot more easily on this device rather than the Steam Deck OLED since it runs a Linux-based operating system. So not only can the Ally X be your portable gaming device, but it can also double as your portable workstation as well. Now another area where the ROG Ally X has the Steam Deck beat is the display refresh rate. Now don't get me wrong, the display on the Steam Deck OLED is absolutely gorgeous, but it only runs at 90Hz while the ROG Ally X has a refresh rate of 120Hz. Now this will allow for much smoother gameplay, especially in fast paced games, but you won't be able to get 120fps out of every single game you play on the ROG Ally X. For example, I was only able to hit that with Hades. Now I don't think that this is a huge difference, especially when you factor in the Steam Deck OLED's beautiful screen, but it does allow the Ally X to run games at a native 1080p resolution, which you may be used to on your PC, for example. So even though the Ally X supports a higher resolution, I would argue that the Steam Deck OLED has a better screen because of the OLED panel. You can get such a nice contrast like deeper blacks and more vivid colors on the OLED panel than you can get on the Ally X. But even though the Steam Deck OLED does have a better screen, the Ally X does perform better in games due to its better hardware. So you'll be able to play games at higher frame rates and be able to play the most demanding AAA games at better graphical settings. Now to get specific, the Ally X is able to achieve this performance by having an AMD Ryzen Z1 chip and 24GB of RAM compared to the Steam Deck OLED's only 16GB of RAM and its AMD APU. Speaking of RAM, if you're looking to build a new gaming PC or you just want to increase your performance in fast paced games, then you cannot go wrong with Crucial's DDR5 Pro memory. This RAM clocks in speeds at 6400 mega transfers per second, which is the perfect sweet spot for gaming and it gives you more frames in those fast paced games. And to get those speeds, it supports stable overclocking with either Intel XMP or AMD Expo, so it doesn't matter which CPU that you choose. And lastly, just look at this design. It's sleek and it has this dope origami inspired heat spreader and it comes in black and white so it fits the aesthetic of any PC build. And if you're interested in buying these then I'll make sure to leave a link in the description but anyways let's get back to the video. So that's enough about hardware now let's get into the software of these devices a little bit. Since the Ally X runs Windows natively it has access to a lot more game stores than the Steam Deck OLED does like Xbox Game Pass, Ubisoft Connect, and the Epic Game Store. With the Steam Deck OLED you can get these storefronts as well but it requires a little bit more work and more hassle. Another thing that's harder to do on the Steam Deck than it is for the Ally X is installing game mods. Again, this is another area where having Windows is actually a benefit because it's more compatible with modding software that people use for games like GTA, Skyrim, and yes, Dragon Ball's Sparking Zero. All you gotta do is download the modding software on your Ally X and you're good to go. You can also install game mods with the Steam Deck, but it does require a few workarounds. If the mods are in Steam's Workshop integration, then it's pretty easy. All you gotta do is download it and you're good to go. But otherwise, you may need to make specific Linux configurations to get these mods to work. And even though with the help of Proton, you can bridge the gap between some Windows software, but it's still not 100% compatible with all modding software. Now let's talk a little bit about virtual reality support. The Ally X can natively support VR systems like the Oculus Rift or HTC Vive, but you won't get the best performance as compared to when you're using them with your desktop PC. But the Steam Deck OLED does not natively support VR at all, and it wasn't really made to. And if you wanted to try VR on the Steam Deck OLED, then the best way to do that is actually installing Windows. Now we come to the last major difference between the Ally X and the Steam Deck OLED, and that's support for external GPUs. If you notice, the Ally X has these two USB-C ports at the top, and one of them is actually USB 4.0, which you can use with external GPUs. 
Using an eGPU with the Ally X greatly improves the performance because you're pretty much offloading all of the hard work to a bigger and better GPU. Now, I haven't tried this myself, but I will include some other videos of people who have done this in the description of this video. As you probably have guessed, the Steam Deck does not natively support eGPUs, and even if you use some of the workarounds, you still won't get the same performance as you would with the Ally X. So to give a quick summary, the Ally X is a much more versatile and powerful PC gaming handheld console because it runs Windows and and has better hardware, but if you don't play many games that require Windows, then you might like the Steam Deck OLED better because of its better screen and just Steam OS is so much easier and better to use than Windows. Personally, I love my Steam Deck OLED, but of course having both is nice too. I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate you so much for watching this all the way through the end and I'll catch you next time.